Rasty McGibbon with my new best friend, Patsy Lillico, grandma uh, representing uh, University of Central Oklahoma, her grandson playing day. Now, Patsy is from a uh, metropolis, right? Right. Spirit River, Alberta. Tell, <laughs> tell me a little bit about Spirit River, Alberta. I, I, I love the name of that. Well, my husband was raised there, and my mom and dad, my dad was born around there, So, but I didn't live there until I got married. But, uh, oh no, it's a small community, everybody knows everybody, and if something happens, it doesn't take about an hour for everybody to know, so that's how big it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great little town. Like, so, your grandson has played in four national championships. Mm -hmm. This is the first one that you have come to in person. I guess you watch right. the other ones on the internet. Yep. Tell, what's the experience like for you? Oh, I just love going and watching them play hockey. I feel like I'm a granny to the whole team when I go see them. Because I'd, I'd go with my daughter and son-in-law lots, when even just in Oklahoma. Were, were you surprised at all at how big this thing was here? No, I expected it. Cause Did I, you? Well, when you see it on, on TV, yeah. it's a big arena and that. And all I have eyes for is our team, of course. Right, right. No, that's good. <laughs> but no, it's. Uh, I found it a little loud. Okay, that probably needs that's fair. Thing. So let me ask a question. You know, your your your, your grandson from Alberta. Mm -hmm. He has not only the opportunity to continue to play hockey, which I know is super important to him, but as a grandma, the opportunity to go to university. How oh. how, how how awesome is it that he that we have the ACHA mm -hmm. that has hockey? He's able to go to University of Central Oklahoma and and uh, and, and and get a university degree. I am so proud of him. When he played juniors and that, or even in high school, he played in Peace River on the team, and then he went to Invermere. And when he got an opportunity to come to a university and play and get an education, and when he said he was going to get his master's, I was so proud of him. It didn't matter that he had to play hockey a couple more years. His body's young, he can take it. Oh, I'm so proud of him. That's awesome. I, I had spoken with the coach earlier this afternoon, Mike Rivera. Mm -hmm. One of the things that Mike has really stressed is, obviously he wants them to be successful from a hockey standpoint, mm -hmm. but I think he wants to use the time while they're in the program at University of Central Oklahoma to develop these young men into men of character. Tell me about the changes you've seen in your grandson with the four years he's been involved He here. has matured so much, and um, his coach now is, is um, well, I don't know how many years he's been a coach of the, of the Broncos, but really good. Like he stressed to Davin, you're no good to me in the penalty box. You're only good to me when you're on the ice. You know, and so he has really, and he's, I found he mentors the younger players now this year. It is so good. He tells them, no, there's nothing in to doing that. What do you want to try to trump this guy for? Like, he didn't do nothing to you. Play hockey. Pass the puck and play hockey. So let me ask you, had he not come to the States and gone to university, what do you think he would have been doing if he stayed up in Alberta? Well, um, he was asked to go play in Saskatchewan too. Okay. Hockey. Yeah. He, he just would have played hockey someplace. And then, and then when hockey's over, what? Well, he he plans on staying in the states if he can. He's fell in love with it and has no desire to go home. Like back to spirit, yeah. other than to visit. Yeah. But uh, no, I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm just so proud. He's he's and he loves this. He took them, his masters and his. He just, he's just changed. He's a man now. He's not my little grandson no more. But he still he is to me. I, I get my hugs and everything. I understand. But. So, if you ran into another lady that had a grandson, mm -hmm. what would you tell them about the ACHA and college hockey in the United States? It's like a family. When they start playing and they, and and they're with the other boys all the time. It's like a family. They, these boys are like a family to me. I don't know them all individually, but they just seem like they're so close and they, and they have respect. I think they have more respect, kids that go to do a sport like this, or any sport, and go to school. I would like it about the most is that they didn't get to stay in the dorms and that. But the hockey players have to live away from them the school like the yeah. 
and that that helps them too. How how important do you think it is that uh, that not only yourself but the uh, the parental support that he oh, gets? Oh, it's great. His mom and dad are just there. Well, and, and I am, and everybody's, even the town. There's I, I, lots I, I, of people watching. I mean, it's, watching. A, it's a haul to come down yes. here. I mean, when you guys head home, I heard you won't be back till the first of May. Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> well, if we, they can, if they can feed the dogs and get them warmed up. That's good. That's good. That's good. Well, hey, thank you so much for coming on, uh, and, and 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 hearing your perspective, and uh, I, I hope you've had an excellent time down here in the uh, sunny United States from. Uh, Spirit River, Alberta. You know what? It's been windy and cold the whole time I've been here. Yeah, yeah you're right, you're right. We had some bad rain. So, yeah. This is my uh, new friend, Patsy Lillico, Spirit River, Alberta, with University of Central Oklahoma. 